Hey guys, welcome to the session on Automation Anywhere. In the previous session, we had learned how we can extract a single cell data from the Excel sheet. And today we'll move forward and we will learn how we can extract multiple cells data from the Excel sheet. So let's get started and if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So yes, let's get started. This is my Excel sheet from where we will extract multiple cell data. This is similar to the previous sheet which I had used in the previous session to extract single cell data. I have added one more column that is the state. And this is the text file where we had written all the steps. So let's create another task and for that steps to extract multiple cell data multiple cell data from Excel and here I will write single cell data. So let's see what all we need to do here and in these steps let me show you. We don't need to create a variable. I will tell you why a bit later. What I will do, I will open the spreadsheet. I will extract multiple data multiple data and after that what was what were we doing put extracted data inside a variable we don't need to do this now since we have extracted multiple data and uh, now we want to do something with the data that is displayed data in in the message box for that we will create a loop create a loop to fetch data right we will open the spreadsheet we will extract multiple data that multiple data will be stored in memory that won't be stored now inside a variable that those data will be stored inside the memory and which can be fetched which can be fetched from system variable right previously we were creating a variable or we could we had used the clipboard variable also according to your requirement what you are doing right here we are not creating a variable we will extract the multiple data and those data will be stored inside the memory and which can be fetched from the system variable right so yeah we have the data inside the memory and for uh, displaying those data we will create a loop and we will display data into the message box and after that we will close the spreadsheet so let's see how we can do this task in the automation anywhere client so for that I have the client with me and I will create a new, new task for that I will hit the new button and yes I have the task new task ready with me now I will go to the Excel I will expand this and I will open this spreadsheet open spreadsheet command I will use so I have the open spreadsheet command with me I will give the session name session name as to why this session name is required I have mentioned in the previous session that it maps to the spreadsheet and for uh, uh, for entire detail you can look into the session on why uh, how to get multi single cell data from the excel sheet okay and the spreadsheet path which I need to provide so I am going to provide the path of my test data file so this is my path test data dot right uh, you can specify the sheet name if you want to sheet 1 since we have only one sheet it will automatically take sheet 1 but you have if you have multiple sheets in your workbook then it is must to specify the sheet name otherwise you can specify or you may not I have specified the sheet name 
okay so i will save this one we have the command with us ready now what will i do will get the command to get cells so i am in the get cells i will click on the get cells and we had learned the get single cell command now we will learn get multiple cells so once you click on that uh, session name it has taken as session 2 from here session 2 and from this session 2 it will it will get to know that which excel sheet it refers to right so this is the from specific cell to specific cell so from where you want to start and from where you uh, and when you want to end that you need to give because we are taking multiple data so I don't want this this is just a heading so I want to start from A2 this is A2 and I want to end at C5 right so that all my data will be read so the first cell is A2 and the last cell is C5 so I will give the command A2 and two specific cell C5 okay i have given the data over here and i will save it now okay let me show you one more thing what's written over here when this command will be executed by the task the result will be fetched in the memory the result what is the result these extracted data these will be fetched in the memory and can be accessed using the system variable what system variable excel column index this is the system variable which i have written over here extract multiple data and those data will be stored inside the memory which can be fetched from the system variable right so this is the thing by which this is the process by which we can extract the multiple data what we did we provided the uh, specific cell and the two from specific cell and two specific cell we provided and once we once the task will run those data these data will be fetched inside the memory and we can get those data from the system variable that is the excel column previously in when we were using this single cell we created a variable and there we stored the data or we can we have used the clipboard variable also to get the details of all the clipboard variable what is clipboard variable and why this session name is required i would suggest you to please look into my session for get single cell data from the excel there i have explained all those uh, parameters in detail okay so yes i will click on save so i save this one now we have extracted the data what we will do now we will create a loop to fetch the data so i will create a loop for that i will move to the loop command so this is my loop command and i will take the loop command as each row in excel data right so here there are multiple of commands over here for the loop for each row in excel data for each row in sql query for each row in internet explorer table folder so we have all with us we will look into them one by one so first of all we will see each row in excel data set and the session name i will give as session 2 session 2 i gave and i will save this now i need to display the data now right so i have created the loop what it loop does the loop says that each row in excel data set of session 2 each row so the loop is like it will do something for each row so for each row what i want to do for each row display the message box so i will write create a loop to fetch data the loop will be for each row in excel data set for each row in excel data set what to do do something with the data that is here we are displaying the data in the message box so i will move to message box now i have the message box with me here so i will drag and drop over here now we need to display these data 
in the message box and what we had learned how to display the data how we can use that data those data right now in uh, when the task will run that will be inside the memory which can be fetched from the system variable so we need to define a system variable over here so what system variable let's press the f2 we have the f2 and here is the system variable now if you scroll a bit down you will see here excel column right so i will take the excel column click on that and the column number you need to provide so what columns you want to use so we have the for each row we have extracted the rows from the loop now we need to give the column so this is my first column this is my second column and this is my third column i want all of them so first of all i will give the column name number as 1 okay right now i will give the another column let me show you fun f2 i will press and i will take the excel column again insert and 2 and in a similar manner i will take the third column also that is system variable and excel column insert and i will give here 3 okay so my message box is ready i will click on save and i will move it inside the loop just dragging it to the up so what i did for each row in excel data set for each row in excel data set what you do suppose it took this row since i have given a2 okay so it will start from here for each row for this row what to do display the column 1 colon colon 2 and colon colon 3 column 3 okay this i have mentioned in the message box now once my loop is ended i want to close the spreadsheet so for that i will move to the excel command where is my excel command i am looking into that this is my excel command i will expand that one and i will take the close spreadsheet command so drag and drop over here and i will close spreadsheet session name is mentioned session 2 and i will save this and now i will save the task as get multiple cells okay get multiple cells and save so i have saved that one i will close this spreadsheet because it will open it by itself so i will click on run so let's see how the execution goes on so it started the execution opened and the first row displayed see for each row that is the for this row column 1 that is 1 colon city name that is kolkata and the colon and the state name that is the west bengal it will be done till the this row number 5 okay the second one third and fourth right so in this way we can work with to get multiple cells from the excel sheet right and in the next session we will see how we can get all the cells from the excel sheet that is our third case that is get all cells right so if you have any queries for this session that is for get multiple cells please put into the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries okay thank you hope you enjoy hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day bye bye